हेलो सो आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डिफाइन पावर सो पावर इज डिफाइंड एज पावर इज डिफाइंड एज एनर्जी पर यूनिट टाइम द सेकेंड पार्ट इज शो दैट द एस आई बेस यूनिट ऑफ पावर आर के जी मीटर स्क्वायर सेकेंड टू पावर निगेटिव थ्री सो टू फाइंड आउट द एस आई बेस यूनिट ऑफ पावर वी हैव टू फर्स्ट फाइंड द यूनिट फॉर द एनर्जी सो एनर्जी एज ए डिफाइंड एनर्जी इज बेसिकली ऑप्टेंड फ्रॉम द वर्क डन बिकॉज वर्क डन इज डिफाइंड एज द एनर्जी ऑल्सो सो इन द वर्क डन इज है फॉर्मूला फोर्स इन टू डिसमेंट so we have to define the force and displacement as well to get the si base units of energy so force on the newton second law is defined as mass into acceleration so it has units of kgra meter s minus 2 and d has displacement has the units of meter only so energy will have units of kgra meter square s minus 2 and here uh, since the power is equal to energy per unit time so we will have power equal to energy basically kgra meter square s minus 2 upon s so it will be kgra meter square s minus 2 similar to what it is written in the question the next part is all bodies radiate energy the power p radiated by a body is given by p equal to k a t to the power 4 where t is the thermodynamic temperature of the body a is the surface area of the body and k is the constant So the question is determine the SI base unit of K. So since T is the thermodynamic temperature of the body, so it has a base unit of K because it is a fundamental physical quantity. So it has units of Kelvin K. A is the surface area of the body, so area has units of meter square, and K is a constant, so it is basically unitless. So to find out the uh, base unit of sorry, K is a constant, we have to determine the base units of K. So to determine the As I base unit of K, we can rearrange the formula, which will be P upon A t to the power four, where P is the irradiated power. That means the units of power. So we just put substitute the values. So it will be kilogram meter square s minus three. A is basically meter square, and T is k to the power four. So meter square meter square will cancel out. It will have units of kilogram s minus three k to the power minus four. So we can write it kilogram s minus three k to the power minus four. Now the second part is on figure one point one. Sketch the variation with t square of p. The quantity a remains constant. So a remains constant. So see the thing is that when we are taking the variable because p, if you just see here, p is directly proportional to e to the power four. But if you are plotting, the, sketching the variation of t square with p. So basically, t square will be can be treated as one. Variable, so it will be similar to k is x square. So your p is directly proportional to x square. So that means it is a quadratic equation of the parabola. So this will behave like the parabola. So this will be like this. So if we just see the because the parabola is usually defined as this way, right? This way. So this is y. This is x. So this is y is usually a x square. So this is the equation for the pair. It's called the curve for the parabola. So since we have to define only the positive uh, first quadrant, so it will be like this. So this is the sketch of variation of p with the t square. 